Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're taking a look at a client's video that was made in reference to a consultation that was done due to his robot disconnecting randomly when he was cutting. Now, this is an interesting video because that's not such an uncommon case. I hear that quite frequently. Um, he was doing his due diligence and he sent me some great videos of his system. Now, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate when you guys do that because the more detail I have, the easier it is for me to dictate what may be the issue. And we can narrow it down until we find it. So what's interesting here is when he discussed about disconnecting, we went through the controller, we went through all of the things that normally it would attribute to, you know, the cables, EMI. And what is interesting in this video, after I seen it, and I'm going to play it for you, um, and I'm going to show you not only the problem that it was, which is actually very minor and, and something that we don't really think about all the time, but I want you guys to listen to his chassis. These sounds that this chassis is making is something we can all learn from. And I, I know there's guys out there that are novice and just getting their machines. And if you don't have another machine to compare it to, it's hard to tell when something may be wrong. Well, in this video, it's pretty obvious to most. Um, and what's really sad is this client paid a vendor to modify his machine and update it with supposedly new linear rails and all linear bearings. And you guys tell me what you think. And I'm going to naturally hit play. And I definitely recommend you adjust your speakers. I would turn them down a little bit because the noise is kind of annoying. Now, do you guys hear that noise? It almost sounds like a marble running across glass. Listen carefully. There you go. You heard it real well there. Um, just listening to that, you already know there's something going on in the linearity of the system. Everything should be looked at. The ball screws, if it has them, the, the linear rails, everything should be reviewed and checked. And when I say that, guys, that's not always an easy thing. You're talking about dismantling all of your access and checking them out. Unless you can pinpoint it, sometimes you can. Naturally, I'm not there. So when doing a consultation, the first thing I say is, when have you gone over this system? Because those noises, they're not correct. And what's interesting is this, uh, this client went through and explained to me that he didn't think it sounded right, but he wasn't certain. And everyone's knowledge is different. So if the vendor is saying, oh, hey, it's normal, you know, it's, it's something else. It could be a computer or something. You need to realize what's wrong. And I'm going to play this again, and I'm going to show you. It gets worse, so just stay tuned. Okay, you guys heard that, that skipping sound? Do not think that is the steppers. It's not the steppers, guys. I'm going to just highlight that right away because I know many of you are going to say it's skipping steps. It's not skipping steps. He actually believed that himself. I'm going to hit play again. Now watch his G-code carefully. Now many of you have never seen that. I myself have never seen that. Now, let's see what you catch on this screen that's not right. First thing you should be catching, if you're careful, if you look up here, it says Mach 3 Demo. That was the solution, gentlemen. He was running a demo Mach 3 license. He didn't have an activated license installed. So naturally, he's only limited to a certain number of lines of decode. I think it's like 150 or 200 lines. Either way, that was his issue. I told him, try that first. Let's see what happens. He was under the influence that it was installed years ago. Guys, be careful. Another area of concern. If you're running a Chinese machine, 99.999% are all going to be running pirated software. Double check the software. I'm saying that because they modify the registry to some degree and you're usually missing features or it's not going to activate properly in different formats. You may have problems with files. So check that first. I was adamant about that with him if he had a genuine license and he did. He actually purchased a CD and he had to install his license. I sent him a video uh, in Mach 3 or of Mach 3 to install the license and he was all set to go. This is a common problem, but not so common in the sense that it would have been brought up had I not gotten the videos. He did his job by sending me the videos and I got to see this and pulled it right up and we solved the issue. Now what's interesting is naturally after hearing the axis, that didn't stop there. I'm gonna play again. I'm gonna move forward just a little bit. Now you can really hear it. Listen to that.
Now, guys, I think we all can say that is not the correct sound of the steppers and the transmission. Listen to it. That sounds much smoother than what we have over here. I'm thinking it's his X or a Z. Yeah. You can definitely hear there is a problem going on with this system. I mean, we can see that all over here, and it's much more noticeable on the X and Z. That is perfect. Now listen to that Z axis. All you're going to hear is grinding. That is totally, totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is not done correctly in some format. Either the bearings are shot, something is rubbing, or there is friction, and that is not the way it should be. And the unfortunate part is that this client paid this vendor to modify a system under the good faith that he knew what he was doing, and now he's stuck with this. So I'm telling you guys this. When you get these new systems in, made from whoever, make sure your axis sound correctly. If you're uncertain, schedule a consultation. It's easy and it's quick. And I'll tell you what, if it saves you a couple thousand dollars, it's worth it. In this case, it would have saved him easily over $3,000 with shipping. So I'm telling you now, be careful. Because this stuff is happening constantly, and the unfortunate part is that, it naturally, in, th in this client's case, the charge that he charged this on, it's, it's well over six months. He has no protection, and now he's stuck with his system. So, And it was really sad that he said to me, you know, I thought something was wrong, but I didn't know. And, you know, that will happen. And, again, we do have to be accountable. If something doesn't sound right, guys, pay attention. It's always easier to ask. You could just message me, hey, does this sound right? And I'll tell you right away, if it doesn't, then we go through, you know, the rabbit hole, so to speak, of finding what it could be. The first area of concern you guys should be focused on is the vendor. If the vendor is not standing by what they sold you, you have a problem and make sure whatever you buy, you buy in a charge because you should be protected all the time. This is inexcusable. This client doesn't know, you know, what he's going to do. He's not a machinist. So be careful and always ask First, if you notice something doesn't sound right or something just may be off, anything you just think about, it's easier to ask than to panic later. So again, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you guys learned something. Always remember to check that Mach 3 license is installed. Thank you for your support. Take care.